everybody welcome back it's Gina today I thought I would go back and revisit um, a few of the projects that I've done years years ago um, and this was one of the first ones I did because we've all got so many book pages <laughs> and it was just a little um, tag and a pocket made out of book pages it's really simple just did a bit of collaging on there and you could just embellish them any way you want but today we're going to make one of these really quick so that we can start dwindling down the book pages so to get started all you're going to need is two book pages i've done some stitching so if you if you've got a sewing machine you can do that if not you could always just draw a stitch line or you don't even have to have that i just think it adds some more detail to it and then I'm just taking some of the scrap paper I've got left over anything will do you could use a uh, thin scrapbook paper as well but I've got these sheets left over and I just want to use them up and then um, some lace of some sort and then I always um, like to use the Irish linen thread and then I've got these little tiny tags think this is a Sizzix die. Uh, in fact it is. It's the Tim Holtz um, tag die. And then I just added this because I thought if this was glued down in a junk journal it might be nice just to put you know a little note here and then you can always pull that pull that out or you could just clip this within a journal page so that it would be a floating pocket in which case you might want to add um, some blank paper over the back so that you could make that another writing surface or another pocket could be added to it if it's going to be floating so I'm just making it as I'm going to glue this down within the journal so ah there's two tags on there I thought that felt thick that's just come apart there let me check this one sometimes when I cut these out I double them up Anyway, so um, I hope everybody had a really nice holiday break. I did. Um, I just got back on Thursday. And um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to get my stuff put away and, you know, just get try to get back over jet lag. Um, I always suffer with jet lag coming this direction. It takes me about a week to get my body clock back adjusted so um so that's why i haven't been on here any sooner all right let's just get started here um these are so easy i just take um one book page and just decide how wide you want it um that's about the width i want and then i just fold that over and then I'm going to tuck that inside just because I think it, it just looks a little bit nicer. But run a little bit of glue. I'm going to use this, this glue on the bottom just because it'll give a thinner, a thinner bead of glue. And then this one, I'm just going to run the glue stick over. Get my bone folder. Find where everything's at again. So yeah, if you saw my previous video, um, I've had a bit of a change in my studio and I love it but of course it takes you a little while to find where you've put everything because I'm trying to you know organize <clears throat> now that I've got more space it's going to be so much better so I'm just going to sit that to the side now um, because I want to let all that glue dry before I put that through the um, sewing machine the only other thing is I like to come back and put a little half circle notch in that and then I want to ink it up as well so 
So yes, I've missed everybody. It's been really nice to have the break and obviously to see family. Um, I really had a nice visit back, but I'm itching to get back to making some journals. Um, and I'm hoping that this week, you know, to get uh, something created, but we'll see how it goes because it often, when I take a break, um, it takes me a while to get back into it. So I, I don't know if I'll complete anything this week or not. But all right, with the other sheet, I'm just going to fold it so that it, it's slightly uh, smaller than, oops, sorry, let me make sure we're on camera here. I want to make sure that that's just slightly smaller than the little pocket that's going to hold it. And you can always add another sheet if you want it to be a little bit sturdier, but one sheet seems to be fine for the tag. And again, just um, put some glue stick on this. And that will give it a little bit more uh, structure as well when, once you've added that to it. I like these pages. These came out of an old Reader's Digest, and look at, they're so nicely aged already. So yeah, make sure this one's glued down really well because you're going to cut the little sides off just to make it into a tag shape. It, you can run it through with one of your tag dies, but it's not necessary. Um, what I do is just a little tip. If I'm, if I'm going to cut to make a tag, a tag shape, I just kind of don't give it a hard um, crease. Just flip it over and do that. That way it's exact. Because sometimes if you try to cut it one side, it just ends up all weird. So that's um, that's how I do them. And then that's going to be the... Actually, yeah, I'm going to make that the front. I'm just going to age that a little bit. And again, that'll give that time, while we're decorating it, it'll give it time to, to um, dry the glue before we run that through the machine because I want to have some stitching around that. All right, so I'll get my paper here. So yeah, I'm really, really sad to see all these uh, fires going on in Australia, and that's absolutely devastating. I've been praying for everybody down there. That's uh, horrible, horrible news. So just take some paper if you want to put some um, music sheet, you know, papers in the background, just whatever you want to do to collage it. It's, it's, you know, you can decorate it up the way you want. But like I said, I'm going to try to get through, still trying to dwindle down the stash. I think it's, I just, oh, I don't know if we ever will. I seem to make, take one step forward and two backwards with my stash because every time I do a project I end up with more and more scraps but before I um, took my break at Christmas I um, really went through and I was ruthless on my you know little bits and pieces from my scrapbooking that I've just been piling into a box and I just went through a lot of that. I probably shouldn't have thrown out because after I came back, I was like, gosh, this doesn't look like much scraps left. So you kind of regret it, but I just had to do it. It was getting so overwhelming. All right, so I've got that. Now, the other thing I did, I've just picked up a little um, scrap. These are leftovers, and I just cut that out into a little... Uh, die cut just because I thought that would be nice like I said just a nice little place for you to write I'm just going to age that up a bit oh, I 
I better put different glue on that. That won't hold. So yeah, while I was back, we had some really nice uh, warm weather. So uh, the only thing I would say, there was a lot of rain. In fact, I had very few days that it was blue skies and sunny, so that was disappointing. But um, very mild, very mild everywhere is very mild. Even when I went up to, um, you know, I spent the last week in D.C. with my son. And the day before I flew, we had a beautiful, beautiful snowfall. So I was thrilled because <laughs> you know I love my snow um, so that was that was nice but really it was so mild I just couldn't believe that um, we're having these kind of temperatures in December and January but there you go uh, so here let me just get a bit to go on this And I uh, ended up eating far too much, as we all do at Christmas. So um, my my uh, husband bought me this so that it, it would tell me that I'm fat and I'm not getting enough exercise. So there you go. Nowadays, it, it, we have to pay to, to be told that. <laughs> now, I have to say, this is I'm hoping this is going to help me to kind of remember to stop what I'm doing and go down and get some exercise because I do tend to lose track of time when I'm when I'm up here and I'm sure you guys can relate to that it just you look at the clock and four or five hours is gone by so I'm hoping that this um, is gonna remind me to hey stop go get some exercise and then come back and uh, work all right so this one I put um, a little die cut, so let me just, let's just see what I've got in my stash already cut up that I could put in there. I don't know if I've got any of these already cut that will match, but just have a quick look here. I think I'll use that one. I'll use that and tone it down just a little bit. It is nice to have those already cut up. I did that some time ago and I must do that with some of my other die cuts. So I'm so far behind on um, watching some of your your channels, guys, because um, two of the weeks that I was away, I did not have, I had very limited internet, and when I say, in, you know, it was just what I could um, 
what I could get on my phone, and I'm, you guys know I'm pretty bad with technology, and I don't like watching um, YouTube on my phone, so I just don't even have it on my phone, so um, the only thing I could do is I <coughs> caught a few posts here and there on Instagram, so yeah, I'm way, way, way behind, and I'm hoping I can catch up, but gosh, there's, there's just so much to catch up on. But uh, I've seen some beautiful projects going on while I was away. And, of course, it's always hard. You want to dash off to your space and try them, but you can't, uh, couldn't do it. So, okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put my hole in here. That way I can run these to the machine, do a bit of stitching, and then I'll be back. So I'm going to shut shut the camera off at this point, guys, and I'll be right back. All I'm going to do is run a stitch down the edge of these, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I've run that through the machine, so you can see it just adds another little bit of detailing around that. I like it. So now let's just finish this up and you can see how quick these are because I love things that are easy, um, that aren't going to take very long and it, it, I think they come out really pretty and of course you can, you can add more texture if you want to um, the front and as I said on the back it would be easy enough to add some plain paper that's been cut out so that you could have a journaling space or incorporate a little pocket here if you're going to have that floating in the journal. So lots of uh, variations that you can do with this. So I just added some seam binding and a little bit of thread. And then I thought later I can come back and stamp what I want on the little tag. I'm just going to leave them plain for now because I'm not sure, you know, what what they're going to go into. I haven't started a journal, <laughs> but uh, I have got to start using up some of these book pages, and I wanted to. Uh, like I said, revisit some of these projects that I've done in the past. Ah! Oh, dearie. Yep. Okay, so there's there you go. That one I'm going to have to trim down slightly. I forget sometimes that you've got to take off that... Um, you're going to lose when you um, stitch... This, this shows you I've been away too long. Uh, when you stitch it, it's going to make that smaller. So, yeah, that's pretty snug. I'm going to have to take a little bit more. <clears throat> so, do be aware of that because um, that was a boo boo. Okay, guys, so there it is, and like I said, um, I tell you what, I'll just go ahead on this one and make a little pocket on the back. <clears throat> so this is just some of my scrap. Actually, I'm going to get a different piece here. Another piece of my scrap, um, you know, the, the off cuts. I'm just making this uh, so it's not completely square. Yeah, that'll work. And then I would just want to get that to fit and keep the butterfly image on that. 
That way I can have one glued down and the other one will just be kind of floating up in the journal. could run this through the machine as well but I'm not gonna bother I'm just gonna glue that down So there you go. There, there's two different variations on that. And you saw how quick and easy that is. And it's a good way to use up those uh, book pages, guys. So I hope that's been helpful. I'll link the, um, the video to the original um, video that I did on this. Like I said, it's been a couple years back, and they're... Um, I've done them in a different orientation so you could add them <coughs> to the journal. So I'll link that below in the description box. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I've really missed being here. I, I hope um, everybody did have a wonderful um, holiday season and you know that everybody's excited about the new year and ready to just get on and create something really nice things and I hope you guys get some time to spend in, in, in your craft room and try these. So I'm going to go now guys. I've got some other things to do so do stay tuned because I'll be back very soon with some more uh, projects to make. So you guys take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye!